Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and today I'm going to be showing you how I refinished an old bow and made this newer bow faster and better than it was before. How I recurved the tips so it would get increased performance, cut it shorter and added a new string. That's all coming soon so stay tuned. All right, everybody, I'm working on an, an old bow today. I decided this I'd get ready for hunting season, and this bow just is a good bow, but it's not quite what I want. Now that I've um, learned a bit more on how to make bows, I'm going to end up cutting it down a little bit, taking about an inch or so off on both ends, making it a 68 inch end-to-end -end bow. And uh, that's gonna do a couple things for me. It's gonna increase the draw weight of the bow, and that's going to make it a little bit better functioning. Then I'm going to recurve it so it gets a little bit more performance. I'm pretty excited. This is a very nice bow. It's made out of hickory uh, and it's about 40 pounds at full draw. So I want it to be about 45, 50 pounds. So I, I'm thinking that will do it. So let's see how that goes. I had a really just good idea. So I decided to go ahead and do a speed test the method I figured out before and just see what the speed is now and uh, with the current draw weight and then see what I can get it afterwards with these modifications. So the first part I want, I want to do is I'm gonna instead of going right to straight to cutting I'm going to take my rat tail file and or my small files and I'm going to get more new knocks made and just test it out, see what kind of poundage I get when I change it down. Uh, so I'll do that first and then I'll cut it off and shape, reshape the ends so they're still nice and smooth. And then we'll get to bending it. There it is. Done. Yeah, then cut off. There's no going back now. Now I'm gonna shape them a little bit, round them up a little so they're nice, pretty looking, more aerodynamic. That's mostly all it is. And then I'll take off the finish, the black and everything here. And I will probably recurve this last. Okay, now we're on to the next step of doing the steam bending. So as you can see here, I got a wide saucer dish, uh, so I can have a lot of surface area, and it doesn't have to be a really deep pot in order to get the water going. Well, keep the water going, but you do want a good amount of water in here. That way, it doesn't boil out and you ruin your pot, because it takes about I think I'm going to do for 30 to 45 minutes for each end. So I'm going to. Let this get hot and then uh, put this over it right here and wrap it up with some aluminum foil so it keeps that steam in there. Otherwise, it's just hot water over it. So, not actually putting the tip in the water, just having the steam go around it. And after so long, then I'll hurry and put that into my mold and bend it and let that thing cool. So, yeah, you want the belly side down because that's the part that's going to be stretching. So, let's put the belly side down. Overall, it shouldn't really matter too much because you're going to have the whole thing in the steam area. I guess just most of the steam is going to hit the belly first, so. So, I just, 30 minutes just passed. Pull it out, and we'll see how it bends.
you get a nice Everything's nice and tight there. It's got a nice recurve. It's gonna bring uh, the performance up. So I did the math on the, looks like we're at 122-ish, 120 feet per second, which I think is pretty standard for a 40 pound flat bow. So with this, we're gonna we shorten it down. That's gonna increase the draw weight, so we're gonna be closer to 45, 50 pounds is my hope. And then we're recurving it, so that's gonna increase the speed. The next step is going to be, well, after checking the tiller on it and checking the weight, we're about 50 pounds at 28 inches. So that's exactly where I want it to be. It's perfect. Yeah. I'm going to use uh, <clears throat> this uh, just water-based wood stain here. So I've had this for a few years. I was good to shake it up. I don't need a whole lot. So using this little pad here. Uh, excess cloth. It's always good to wear something so I don't look like a green monster at the end of this. Oh yeah. Just rub it in. Get all that. Oh, that's nice. The green tip though. Looks like I want a little bit more. Get that a little darker. Right here. Right here. Oh, uh, just nice. Uh, Keep the strokes uh, the same direction. All right, so I did a little bit of other work, but this thing has been drying. So I just wanted to kind of give an update where I was. So I got the string made, and I got some beaver pelt silencers added onto it. And it's actually really nice material. We'll see how, how it does. We'll be doing our, our speed test later tonight <clears throat> after we get the kids down. Um, but yeah, this it's all finished. Just letting it finish drying. I mean, I can touch it and everything. It, I use this, uh, I use uh, teak oil. That's what I use. So here's the final product. We were able to get an extra 20 feet per second out of this. So. Just goes to show you what you can do with a little rework. Mommy.